What is the best way to patch the tripod in your 360 photos without having to spend an expensive monthly subscription on Adobe Photoshop? Well, Affinity Photo is the cheaper alternative to Photoshop, which only costs $48.99 for a lifetime license. And to put that into perspective, $48.99 will only get you two months of Photoshop use. Affinity Photo is available on Windows and Mac. It's also very easy to use. So I wanted to share with you how to use it. To follow along this tutorial, you can download a 10 day free trial of Affinity Photo from the link below. And I am not affiliated with Affinity Photo or Serif, the software company whatsoever. I really do think this is a great low cost solution for beginners. So I think it deserves a video. And you can also download the 360 sample photo used in this video from the link below. So once you got all that, let's get started. To patch the tripod in the nadir of your 360 photo, first open up Affinity Photo. The next thing you need to do is import your 360 photo. So to do this, go to File in the top left hand corner, click Open. Find the 360 photo you want to edit and click Open. Here you will see your 360 photo in an echo rectangular projection. You need to change this view to another view so it's easier to edit. So to do this, go to Layer, Live Projection, Echo Rectangular Projection. Now you can click and drag your mouse across the photo to look around. And if you go to Head In, you can move the photo left or right. With Pitch, you can move the photo up or down. And with Field of View, you can zoom in or zoom out. To look at the nadir of your 360 photo, go to pitch and change the value to 180 and tap enter. And here you can see the tripod legs and the shadow of the selfie stick. To remove the tripod legs, you are going to use the in painting brush tool. So go over to this plaster icon, hold down on this icon and whilst holding down, select the in painting brush tool and then let go of your mouse and you'll see a circle icon will appear. With this circle, you'll be able to select the tripod legs and the computer will be able to automatically remove it. Now, if your circle is too small, then go over to width and increase the slider to make the width larger and move the slider left to make the circle smaller. Once you're happy with the size of the circle, you need to make a selection to remove the tripod legs. To make a selection, click and hold down and make a selection over the tripod legs and your selection will turn red. Once you're happy with your selection, let go of the mouse. The computer will work its magic and remove the tripod legs. The next thing you want to remove is the shadow of the selfie stick. To do this, you want the entire selfie stick shadow in shot so you need to change the projection. To do this, select the mouse icon, click Edit Live Projection. Now you can click and drag the photo to change the position. Once you have the entire selfie stick in shot, click the In Painting Brush tool. Now you can just draw a line across the entire shadow but that selection might go all over the place. So an easier way to do this is to click at one end of the selfie stick just once over here. And at the other end of the selfie stick, hold down shift and click again. And now the computer will make a selection between the two points and automatically get rid of the selfie stick. Now it's not perfect. There are some imperfections left behind. So you will need to use the healing brush tool to patch these areas up. The healing brush tool will copy pixels from one area of the photo and paste it to another area of the photo. So how do you do this? First, select the healing brush tool. So to do this, go over to the in painting brush tool, hold it down, select the healing brush tool, now go over to the area where you want to copy pixels from. So in this example, you want to copy pixels from this line 
to paste it over here where the line is missing and then paste this area over this area over here. So to do this, you need to tell the computer where you want to copy pixels from. Hold down the option key on the keyboard and you will see this plus icon appear. You want to tell the computer to start taking pixels from this point over here. So click once, let go of the option key and now you will see a plus icon over here. Now where the circle icon is, this is what is being picked up from where the plus icon is. So to copy pixels from where the plus icon is to where the circle icon is, hover your mouse until the line is in place of where you want to add the line. Click and hold the mouse down and drag over the area you want to patch. And here you can see the circle is taking pixels from where the plus icon is. And once you've gone over the area you want to patch and you're happy with it, let go of the mouse and you've now successfully patched this area up. The next thing you might want to do is get rid of the red dot. So to do this, you will need to change the projection again. So to do this, select the mouse icon, edit live projection. You can now click and drag across the 360 photo to find the red dot. Go over to the in painting brush tool. Hold down the mouse and make a selection over the red dot. Let go. The computer will work its magic and now the red dot has been removed. Now you're ready to export your 360 photo. But in order to do that, you need to remove this projection. So to do this, go over to layer, live projection, remove projection. And now you'll go back to your equirectangular view and you can see the tripod is gone and there is no red dot. So to export your 360 photo, go to file, export, make sure JPEG is selected, make sure the preset JPEG best quality is selected, make sure the quality is set to 100, click export, choose a name for your 360 photo, choose where you want to save it to, once you are happy with that, click save. And that's it. You can now share your 360 photo on social media and I'll see you in the next one.